Okay, so when we're getting launching, we're going to go kind of how to get it getting started in Xcode. So here is Xcode 10.3, and where we got on the right side old projects that we can launch some uh, recent ones, or we can start something new. We're going to start right here in the middle a new Xcode project, and it's going to launch things up and give us a template to pick from. Now you can, you've got all these options. You can use use Xcode to do any any of these, pretty much any any Apple thing. Um, you can do through Xcode. Um, everything in the the guides are for single view apps and start with that. Most developers, unless they need something specific like AR or a sticker pack, are going to use a single view app to start with and then add their things in later. So we'll just hit next and you're going to need to give it a product name and we're going to start off with getting started. Um, don't worry about putting a team in right now. You don't need to. That's really for as you're going in and you're putting this into the app store but um, organization name you're going to, have to give it something um, it could be your name could be your school's name anything you want there organization identifier has to be there and it starts with com dot then that name you know some name organization name or whatever in this case I just put that same name again and then that's going to actually create your bundle identifier and that that's again stuff that we need later but you have to have that organization name and identifier to get started in this um, leave our language swift. You've got other options. You can do an Objective-C, but that's not what we're learning. These three buttons here, just uncheck all of them. We don't need them now. Those are things later, so don't sweat it. And then hit Next. Um, from there, you're going to pick where you want to put it. Um, start on your desktop. If you've got another drive you want to put it on, I like to work on my desktop and then move it from there um, after I'm done working. And so then we will go in. We're going to hit Create. And, uh, and uncheck Git repository as well. Um, now you'll see there's a warning error down here. But don't worry about it because it's not going to break anything right now. Um, and then that's where we get started. Now some items of note in here. If we were to click on View Controller and we see our code, a um, couple of other notes. Um, over here is your navig. This left side is your navigation area. Here is your editor area. Um, over on this side is utilities, toolbars at the top, and I have nothing on the bottom. Over on this top corner, you can actually go in and you can toggle windows open and close. So here's this down here's our debug area. You can toggle these windows as you need to give yourself more room and do that. Um, if you end up mess messing up the windows, it's always easy to go back. Um, the main windows we're going to use in the navigator are going to be the files and then the um, issues navigator. Those are the two we use most often. There's others that will get called up from time to time, and but don't worry about those. If the files we're going to use most often to get started is this viewcontroller.swift and we're going to use main.storyboard. Um, that's Those are the two first off getting started in everything. And then in your storyboard you actually have um, a navigator here and you can actually the document outline, you can close that, hide it if you need to, and adjust things. And these windows also, um, all of these windows are adjustable. Um, so you can move things as you need more space. And down here on the bottom, you can actually do the same thing. Um, so you got lots of options here to really customize it and make it what make it your own and make it what you need. So um, the other thing is this assets folder is where all of your assets go. Um, any videos, photos, things that you're going to be importing into your app, that's where that's going to go. Don't put them in the app icon. That's for use later when you're creating your app icon. That's where the, that goes. It doesn't. Other things don't go in there. So that's it. That's getting started in this.